हमें किताब चाहिए हमें किताब चाहिए हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ स्टोरी स्टेशन एट द लाइब्रेरी आज मैं आपको दो कहानियां सुनाऊंगी दोस्ती के बारे में दीज स्टोरीज विल हेल्प अस लर्न अबाउट हाउ वी शुड रिस्पेक्ट एंड सेलिब्रेट आवर डिफरेंसेस विद अदर पीपल हम सब एक दूसरे से مختلف हैं कुछ लोग दूसरी जबान बोलते हैं कुछ लोग हमसे अलग लिबास पहनते हैं और कुछ लोगों का रहन सहन हमसे मुख्तलि होता है पीपल कैन बी डिफरेंट इन मेनी वेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल द लैंग्वेज वी स्पीक द फूड वी ईट हाउ वी अपेयर and the religion that we follow think for a moment about your friends do you recognize any differences our differences are what make us unique and special our first story is a wonderful tale about a snake and a sparrow who are the best of friends But before we read the book, let's look at some difficult words from the story to help you understand what they mean. The first word is slither. Slither ka matlab hai ringna. This is the movement of sliding sideways like a snake does. Let's say the word together. Slither. Slither, slither. Good job. Next, we are going to learn the phrase "stay away." Stay away means not to go near someone or something that could harm you or be dangerous for you. अक्सर हमारे घर के बड़े हमारी हिफाजत के लिए रोक टोक करते हैं. ताकि हम खतरे से महफूज रहे कैन यू रिपीट आफ्टर मी स्टे अवे स्टे अवे स्टे अवे एक्सलेंट द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज हेयरलेस हेयरलेस का मतलब है बाल ना होना हैव यू नोटिस्ड that insects snakes and fish have no hair yes they have smooth shiny skin but other animals like cats and dogs have lots of hair try saying the word with me hairless hairless Hairless. Great job. The next word is cheer up. Cheer up is what you say to someone when they are sad or upset. Cheer up ka matlab hai khush raho. Kya aapne kabhi apne behan, bhai ya dost ko aisa kaha hai jab wo udaas ho? Let's try saying it together. Cheer up. Cheer up. Cheer up. Excellent. The last word is soft. Soft ka matlab hai naram. Soft is the opposite of hard. For example, a cushion or a pillow is soft to touch. but a door or a table is hard let's practice saying this word together 
soft 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 good you've got it our first story is called same same or different it's written by rupa pai illustrated by rohit kelkar and you can find it on the website letsreadasia.org are you ready to meet our two friends the snake and the sparrow do you think it's strange that they are best friends let's read about them and see what they are up to mama put sparrow's lunch box into her school bag and folded her wings around her have a good day darling she said pay attention be polite off mama laughed sparrow you say the same thing every day and remember said mama stay away from snake he's different sparrow wished mama hadn't said that snake was her best friend but mama didn't approve of snake his people eat our people she always said sparrows and snakes can never be friends sparrow ki mama ne usse kya kaha ji unhone स्कूल में स्नेक से दूर रहने को कहा बट वाई डज एंड स्पेरोज मामा वॉन्ट हर टू बी फ्रेंड्स विथ स्नेक मे बी इट्स बिकॉज स्नेक एंड स्पेरो आर सो डिफरेंट एंड शी इज अफ्रेड फॉर हर चाइल्ड ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ टाउन स्नेक्स पापा was packing his lunch box with birds eggs today's special son he said proudly but i hate eggs papa groaned snake we've always eaten them in this family said papa sternly Now off you go and remember stay away from sparrow Snake slithered away feeling angry Sparrows are different Papa called after him You can't be friends with your food Snake is also going to school. And what has his papa packed for his lunch? That's right, birds eggs. Lekin snake ko ye nahi pasand. Maybe because his best friend is a bird. Jaate hue snake ko bhi पापा ने यही कहा कि वो स्पैरो से दूर रहे लेट सी वॉट हैपन्स नेक्स्ट वेन स्नेक मेट स्पैरो एट स्कूल दे न्यू योर मामा सेड आस्ट स्नेक स्पैरो नॉडेड your papa do snake nodded our parents are wrong sparrow said snake let's show them that we are more same same than different great idea 
said sparrow. Let's. She pulled out a sheet of paper and drew two circles on it like this. Snake and Sparrow met at school and decided to prove their parents wrong. दोनों को नहीं लगता था कि वो एक दूसरे से मुख्तलिफ हैं. Sparrow drew two circles on a piece of paper to show the similarities between her and snake. In the yellow part of the left circle, said Sparrow, we put down just sparrow things. In the blue part of the right circle, just snake things. These are all ways in which snake and sparrow are different. Snake was puzzled. I thought we wanted to think of ways in which we are same. That's what the green part in the middle is for, smiled Sparrow. First, let's think about how we look, said Sparrow. Same, same. Or different? Very different, sighed Snake. I'm long, hairless, and thin. You're small, plump, and soft. You are right, said Sparrow. I look like a powder puff. She drew a powder puff in the yellow crescent. And you look like a rope so rough. She drew a rope in the blue crescent. Sparrow started filling in her drawings with similarities. In the green part of the circles, she decided to put the similarities between the two friends. But it seems that snake and sparrow are quite different in appearance and do not look like each other at all. Let's see what else they note down about one another. Now, she said, how do we move? Very differently, Snake said, looking even sadder. You fly through the air, flap flapping. I slither along the ground, zigzagging. In other words, said Sparrow, I move like a plane and you move like a train. Snake sighed. Cheer up, Snake, said Sparrow briskly. Let's see now, what do we eat? Very different things. Snake's eyes filled with tears. But I don't eat birds' eggs. Snake and Sparrow also move very differently. This made them quite sad. Did you notice these differences too? Snake zameen pe rengta hai aur sparrow hawa me urti hai. Dono dost udas ho gaye aur sochne lage ke shayad wo ek dusre se kafi mukhtalif hai. I know, said Sparrow soothingly. But now she looked glum too. 
seeds and grass she muttered as she drew them in the yellow crescent frogs and rats she sputtered and drew them in the blue crescent so now we see that sparrow and snake eat very different things too sparrow drew what they each eat in separate areas of the circles the two friends were quite disappointed to see so many differences magar ho sakta hai ki wo galat ho let's read the next page and see what happens horum snake and sparrow jumped it was headmaster elephant why the long faces kids he asked kindly oh sir sobbed snake my papa and sparrow's mama say we can't be friends because we are different we wanted to show them we were more same same than different sir said sparrow but it isn't working headmaster elephant looked at the circles a long time then he began to laugh snake and sparrow stared at him what was so funny don't you see kids he said finally wiping his tears you are doing this all wrong let me help you headmaster elephant settled down on a bench now then snake he said what do you like doing best playing and chatting sir said snake especially with sparrow and you sparrow chatting and playing sir said sparrow especially with snake right said headmaster elephant you like doing the same things and he drew something in the green pot next said headmaster elephant what makes you happy kids when miss lets me sit next to a friend sir snake began to smile same same sir clapped sparrow the headmaster saw how sad snake and sparrow were and decided to help them why do you think he laughed i think the headmaster was very wise and knew how to help them headmaster ne snake aur sparrow ko saath bithaya aur unse kuch sawal kiye aur unhe dikhaya ki wo ek dusre se kitne milte julte the even though they looked different eat different things and walked differently snake and sparrow liked all the same things aha said headmaster elephant you both have the same happy place green all right what makes you sad snake and sparrow that papa says i should stay away from sparrow sir sighed snake 
that mama says I should stay away from snakes, sir. Side Sparrow Headmaster Elephant frowned. You are both sad, he said, for the same reason. Your parents don't let you choose your friends. Green again. Now then, said Headmaster Elephant, who do you think is the best kind of friend? Someone who loves you, began Snake. Even though you are different, finished Sparrow. So you both agree said Headmaster Elephant. That a true friend loves you no matter what. That makes four same-sames and only three difference. Same-sames win. So here we have it. The same-sames are more than the differences. Snake and Sparrow say that the best kind of friend is someone who loves you even if you are different. Do you agree? I certainly do. If your friend understands you and you both love doing the same things together, then you will enjoy your time even if you are different. Hooray! said Snake and Sparrow. Thank you, Headmaster Elephant. Hurrumph! said Headmaster Elephant. One last thing. Yes, sir? Tell your parents I want to see them in my office first thing tomorrow morning. And Headmaster Elephant marched away, looking very fierce indeed. Why do you think the Headmaster wants to meet Snake and Sparrow's parents? Headmaster was very angry. Maybe they understand that Snake and Sparrow's friendship is not wrong. I think he feels that the parents should let them be friends and that differences are not a bad thing. Did you like the story? Don't go anywhere because we have an exciting colorful crafts activity for which we'll use a technique that is part of both African and Pakistani culture. In today's activity, we are going to use a weaving technique that you might have seen on charpais in Pakistan. It is also used to make kente cloth in Africa. Shayad, aapne is bunai ki tarike ko charpai mein dekha hoga. Is tarike se Afrika mein ek maksus kapra buna jata hai जिसे कैंटे कहते हैं। We will be weaving paper together to make a colorful fish-shaped place mat, which you can use to decorate your study table or any other space in your home. To make the place mat, we will be using a jar lid. a pencil, a ruler, red and black markers, a glue stick, a pair of scissors and colored papers. The first step is drawing the fish shape. 
For this, I will be using a jar lid, a pencil, a ruler, a pair of scissors, and yellow paper. I am drawing a circle on the yellow paper using the jar lid. You can use plates or any circular objects you find at home. Next, I will extend this circle on one side by drawing a triangle. Make the mouth of the fish. I am now going to draw another triangle at the other end of the circle to make the tail of the fish. Next, I will cut out the shape. I will now fold the fish horizontally in half. Using a pencil and ruler, I will draw 3 inch long lines at the center of the fish that are half an inch apart. Next, I will cut along these lines. Good job everyone! You are doing great! I am drawing a small black circle for the eye and coloring it in. I'm using a red marker to draw the mouth of the fish. I think something is missing. Can you guess what it is? Yes, the fins! To create vibrant colorful fins, we would need scissors, colored papers, a ruler, and a pencil. I will stack the colored papers together and draw lines on the green sheet. You need to draw roughly 10 lines. Remember? The lines should be half an inch apart. Next, I will cut along these lines. Now for the fun part. We are going to weave these colorful strips along the cuts in the fish. And starting by placing the red strip over the yellow paper and pushing it through the first cut and bringing it back up through the second cut. Repeat the same steps until the red strip is woven through all the cuts. I am going to follow the same steps for the green paper except I am going to start from under the yellow paper. I 
I'm going to repeat these steps with the rest of the strips until I've covered all the cuts in the fish. Now I'm going to glue the colored strips to the yellow paper at the edges so that they stay in place. Now I'm going to turn the fish over and glue the strips from the other side. To finish making the fins, I'm going to cut the edges of the paper strips into a triangular shape. And there you have it! Our woven fish is ready! I hope you had lots of fun making the paper woven fish with your own materials at home. Now I am going to read you another short story called Why is Neeta Upside Down? It's written by Roxana Bauer, illustrated by Sarah Bauer and designed by Emma Hearn. It's published at bookdash.org. Before we begin the story, do you know what upside down means? Upside down ka matlab hai ulta hona. Is kitab mein kai tasaweer ulti hai. Let's find out why. This story is about Neeta. But Neeta is upside down. Do you think she's happy? Let's read the story to find out. Neeta's hanging upside down. Her long hair tickling at the ground. The trees, the grass, the everything is all the wrong way round. Her feet, they poke into the sky. Little Navi's walking by. He says, I've seen you here before. You're upside down again. What for? His feet swim lightly in the air. She tries to hide behind her hair. It's hard to talk, she says to him. I'm not the same. I don't fit in. Nita is hanging upside down from a swing in a playground. Vaha se Nita ko sab kuch ulta nazar raha hai. जब Navi उससे बात करने आया, तो नीता ने क्या कहा? Yes, she says that she is not the same and she doesn't fit in. Do you think she is happy? Hmm, maybe not. I think she feels that she is different from all the other children in the playground. But Navi seems like a kind boy. Let's see what happens. Navi takes her by the hand. He wants to help her understand. 
they climb to navi's lookout spot from up here they can see a lot they perch and have a quiet stare at children playing here and there those kids are not the same at all abe's round cheese freckled lala's extra tall bam bam's wild and must be free while lulu's reading quietly look at freya's crazy hair and said wears glasses everywhere and me i am just skin and bone and you are you you are not alone each humans sort of strange you see that makes you just the same like me this world is really one big game to play we can't all be the same navi takes neeta to a tall tree wahan se baith ke wo bachcho ko khelte hue dur se dekh sakte the did you notice that all the children are different from each other can you remember anything about them yes one is chubby one is thin one is tall and one wears glasses sare bacche ek dusre se mukhtalif the lekin sab ek sath khel rahe the neeta feels the right way round thanks to the new friend she's found upside down was never fun now she plays with everyone what has neeta learned now yes that everyone is different and she doesn't need to be alone she has not only found a new friend navi but she plays with everyone else do you think she's happy now yes she is remember if you see someone sitting alone or upside down or if they seem sad or upset ask them to play with you i'm sure that will make them happy again i hope you enjoyed listening to our stories today see you next week with another exciting episode of story station at the library bye khuda hafiz